Chapter 2 Possessed How about you hand over the book? Superman asked. The boy tossed the book at the man's seal and, run away, and ran away in anger. Superman had faced many threats in his life as a superhero. He fought evil war warlords, alien menaces, and madman, but he wasn't sure how to handle a school filled with zombified children without hurting them. He entered the lunchroom to find students uh, for overturning tables, hang, hanging from the lights, and taking a part of the, in a food fight. The chaos stopped for a moment, then the students realized the man of steel had arrived. Get him! A little girl cried as the children ran towards Superman in anger. I have, to very be, I have to be very careful, Superman thought. If I use my powers too forcefully, I could accidentally hurt them. He took a deep breath and barely puffed out his super breath to push away the students away from him. He carefully backed out of the lunchroom. Once inside, once in outside, he used his heat vision to melt the lock, trapping the students inside. That should hold him for a minute, he thought. Rah! The, a boy shouted, surprising Superman behind. The angry boy jumped on his back. Yeah, with an army of rage-filled children charged down the hallway. They piled Superman, pounding him with their fists. Despite having an unbreakable skin, he could feel the incredible power in their blows. Superman shook uh, off the attack at super speed and dashed uh, to the other end of the school to, to safety. He used his Justice League communicator to report in. This is Superman, he began. I need a little help down here. A red and yellow blur <laughs> whizzed through the hallways, joining the Man of Steel. Ta-da! exclaimed the Flash. You didn't think of we would leave you hanging, didn't you? Boom! A glowing green bossy glove punched through the school's front doors. We got here as soon as we could, could, Green Lantern said. Where's Batman? asked Superman. He's right behind me, Green Lantern shrugged with his shoulder. He's probably doing off his bat thing, that Batman thing. An angry mob of children poured out of the cl every classroom, looking for trouble. The Conqueror has awakened us, screamed the little boy and the other children, uh, and, and cheered his words, with an evil delight slowly moving towards the heroes. Who's the Conqueror? What are you trying to be more pacific, kid? This is a Green Lantern. We have dealt a lot of bad guys in our time. Be careful, Green Lantern, Superman said. Something sinister has taken hold of those children. Let's not make them any angrier. Be mindful not to hurt them. I've got this thing, said Green Lantern, using his reign to create an emerald jail cell to keep the children at bay. This will do for now. We're going to need options. Uh, in a nearby classroom, Batman looked for clues. Has a virus infected those children? The Dark Knight wondered, or is there something controlling them? <sighs> As he made a way, his way through the room, he heard whispering coming from a locked closet. Using the pick of his utility belt, Superman unlocked the closet door and found the teacher huddled in the corner. I'm not going to hurt you, he, he confronted. You're safe. Where are the children? The teacher asked. Are they gone? My teammates are making sure they're okay, Batman said. Take a, take a deep breath and tell me what happened. The children locked me in here, the teacher began. It all started when we were coming back from recess. One of the boys were playing with his tablet. He had downloaded a game or something. I'm not quite sure, but the other children got around and all. Their eyes were so wide watching whatever that thing. And then, I told everyone to go back to their seats. Then I asked the boy to turn off the tablet, but he wouldn't. The teacher said, her voice cracking with emotion. I know this is difficult, Batman said. To tell me all happened through next. I was angry. He began screaming. I did. Something to have the conquer something to Earth, said the teacher. I think it had something to do with that stupid game. Whoosh! And the Flash entered the room. Found you, Batman, he said. Thank you, Batman said to the teacher. And he turned his attention to the class. Take her to safety. The Scarlet Speedster grabbed the, the teacher and raised her outside, returning in seconds. Done. It's Starro, Batman growled. Giant alien fi starfish? asked the Flash. Starro's got an army of face-hugging, mind-controlling starfish minions, but he's behind this. Then where are they? He doesn't need them anymore, Batman said, activating the Starro uh, contour of the app and nearby tablet. Now he's got this. 
What? What the what? Flash explains. That's my new favorite favorite video game. Star is using control, using it to control those children. Batman said. Superman and Green Lantern rushed into the room to join their friends. We distracted the kids once we could. What do we miss? The Green Lantern said. Asked. A space, a space spa starship, a starfish, is using my favorite app to control kids' minds," said the Flash. "Huh?" Green Lantern asked. "Let me explain." Batman begins. "Starro has the ability to control people's minds. He usually channels his power through a smaller version of himself called spores, which he attaches to the human host to take over their bodies. And now he has found a new way to use our technology to do the same. So he finally upgraded, huh?" Good for him, the Flash joked. This is no laughing matter, Batman growled, showing off his door with a contract. Grant Green's answer his eyes widened. That's my game, he explained. Star is using it to hypnotize children, Batman explained. And he knows that uh, humans are attached uh, to multiple devices more than ever before. This app targets different brain patterns using colors, lights, and sounds. Combine it with a low frequency pulse. Star Wars affects the human mind like a virus. Why, why had a Green Lantern? I've been affected by all those lights and sounds, asked the Flash. We've been playing that on game all day. I suspect Star Wars fashioned his cyber spore with a target developing brains, said Batman. That's why the children have become infected so far. That sounds like a part of a bigger plan, said Green Lantern. This is I suspect, Batman said. He took a took a cool kit from his utility belt and used it to and tinker with the device. Star is using a unique frequency to boost Cyberspore. I thought I might be able to rewire the device so the signal will be blocked completely, but it might take time. Be careful, Batman, warned Green Lantern. One false move or we might turn into zombies. This technical call is making my brain hurt, said the Flash. Superman and Hans Harry picked up the sound of the children rushing down the hallway, preparing to launch a new attack. We don't have much time, he, he, he reminded the other heroes. Will we have to rewire the tablets and cell phones on Earth? Sounds like we gotta work them for us, said Green Lantern. Or will we find Starro and stop him first, Batman said, pressing uh, some buttons on the device. Bzzz. Sparks flew through the device. Batman's expression changed. His mood to go angrier. Are you okay? Asked the, the Green Lantern. Leave me alone! Batman exclaimed. He grabbed the flash, uh, flash bomb in his utility belt and tossed it Green, into Green Lantern's direction. Ba boom! The bomb exploded in the flash of yellow light. When the smoke finally cleared, it was clear that the Dark Knight has fallen under Starro's sinister spell. Now, so Batman has a zombie too, whimpered the Flash. Can this day get any worse? 